Yes, good evening children. So today we will start a new lesson, ninth lesson, soil. Okay, we will see the eighth lesson later. Today let us see about the ninth lesson, soil. Okay. So before going into the lesson, um, what do you know about soil? Why it is so important for us? Yes. So with the soil only, <coughs> soil plays an important role in agriculture and also soil, uh, a type of soil can be also used for constructing buildings and some type of soil can be used for growing plants. Yes. So and also soil is used for um, used uh, soil is used to grow more plants and trees so those roots of trees and plants are holding the soil and increasing the fertility of the soil see if the fertility of the soil is good you can grow more vegetables and fruits and plants okay so so those much food are food items and useful products are give, getting by soil. So we have to preserve those soil. Okay. Yes. So let us start our lesson. Take page number 96. Okay. Yes. Soil. Soil is one of the most important natural resource. Can you make soil artificially? No, it is a natural resource like sun, air. Soil is also a natural resource. Okay. It provides anchorage to the plants and supplies water and nutrients. Okay. Soil itself, it is providing a um, uh, water supply and nutrients apply to the plants. Okay. Soil itself has some nutrients. Okay. And also it has uh, some water content in the soil. Soil is a home for many animals. Not only to grow plants or animals. See it is providing a shelter. It is a home for many animals like rat, rabbit, earthworms etc. Okay. Agriculture, soil is essential for agriculture. Agriculture provides food, clothing and shelter for all. Okay. So it is a main, it is a main thing. Without soil, no one can do agriculture. Okay. So with the agriculture, after doing the agriculture only, they are giving uh, food products like rice, wheat and also clothing, cotton, jute and shelter. Okay. So from the uh, from trees only we are making um, cots, chairs like that. Okay, so it is essential for our life. Okay, so soil cannot be separable from our life. Okay, and also no one can get no one can get uh, a boon. See, uh, have you ever smelled? Uh, have you ever uh, felt a smell of first rain? Yes, it is very, um, very, uh, it makes our mind very happy. It is very pleasant. Yes, we all like to smell that, isn't it? So, that is a gift of nature. So, what is, uh, what is this picture, children? Yes, they are, children are playing in the soil. Okay. See, uh, nowadays, um, uh, some doc uh, doctors are telling that clay soil has some nutrient. Okay, clay. Clay means in a kaliman. All on the they are they are, the clay has some nutrient that is needed for our body. Okay, so let the children play. So some doctors are telling that. Okay, but not all type of soil. Okay, not all type of soil. Soil teeming with life. One day during the rainy season, 
Pahli and Bojo observed an earthworms coming out of the soil. Okay. Pahli wondered whether there are other organisms also in the soil. Yes. So uh, uh, there is a rainy season. So during rainy season, what are all the insects you can see? What are all the insects they come out from the soil? Mostly we can see frogs, worms. Okay. And earthworms. So likewise, Begley and Bojo also seeing earthworms that is coming out from the soil. Mm. So mm, basically, earthworms live in the soil. Okay. So in that rainy season, they are coming out. Okay. And they are wondering, what are all the other animals are staying in the soil? Yeah, you can tell rabbit, rat and uh, snail. Uh, likewise. Okay. So, there is one activity is there. So, I repeat you children, not, uh, the soil is not same in all places. Okay, it will be different in garden, it will be different in construction places and also it will be different in roads. Okay, so for that, to make you understand the types of soil, I am going to do, uh, we are all going to do one activity. What is it? Collect some soil samples. Observe them carefully. You can use a hand lens. Examine each sample carefully and fill the table. Okay, discuss with your observation with your friends. Are the all samples collected by a similar or different? So, there are, you have to collect different samples. Okay, you have to go garden and take some sample of soil and go near, see, don't go um, as it is. Ask your parent help and get some roadside sand and and uh, if you any construction is going on near your house just take that sand sample okay and wherever you see the sand just take it and collect the samples get ready and absorb those soil carefully okay yes so observe it and find whether it, uh, what did you see in that. Do you see anything, uh, uh, anything in those samples? Just write there in the plants, animals and any other observations. Okay. Yes. So for example, here in the garden soil, you may... Yes. As I told you earlier, collect the different soil samples and observe whether, is there any use in that soil. Okay, for example, if you take garden soil, you can um, grow grass and some animals like uh, ants, snail, they will be living there. Okay, so likewise, observe in three or four different soil samples. Okay, and also touch it and feel the moisture whether it is so soft or rough or it has a wet water holding capacity or not so likewise check it something and write okay okay so next one Yes. So here, uh, Pahli, I wonder, is uh, thinking something. Okay. While collecting the samples of different soil, she had a, uh, she had got some plastic articles in the, or plastic polythene bags in the sample. Okay. She have collected the sample from the roadside. So, uh, in that soil sample, she have seen some polythene bags and po plastic articles. Okay. So, she is feeling bad. Why? Yes, because it affects the fertility of the soil. So, why uh, we should not uh, bury the polythene bags or we should not throw plastics anywhere in the soil? Yes, they, see, they will reduce the fertility. They will reduce the fertility of the soil by which the 
plants and uh, the crop production will be going less. Okay. So, I will tell you why polythene bag should be and plastic should be thrown proper place. Why? Polythene bags and plastics pollute the soil. They also kill the organisms live in the soil. That is why there is a demand to ban the polythene bags and plastics. Other substances which pollute the soil are a number of pro waste products like chemicals and pesticides. Waste products and chemicals should be treated before they are released into the soil. The use of pesticides should be minimized. See, see to maintain the fertility of the soil, we should not throw the polythene, we should not bury the polythene bags and we should not throw the plastic articles in the soil. And one more thing, you have to reduce the usage of chemical fertilizers and um, like medicines and also pesticides. Just reduce the usage of it and by that we can increase the fertility of the soil. So, to maintain the fertility of soil, the polythene bags, plastics, pesticides, chemicals and waste products should be avoided, should not be buried or thrown into the soil. Clear children? Yes.